Welcome to today's video where we're diving into the world of Deep Belief Networks, or DBNs. If you're curious about how machines can learn abstract features from raw data, this is where DBNs come in. So, what exactly are Deep Belief Networks? A Deep Belief Network is a type of generative model. That means it's designed to learn how to represent input data and then generate new data that follows the same distribution. But what makes DBNs special is their architecture. They consist of multiple layers of stochastic latent variables often referred to as hidden units. These layers are stacked hierarchically, one on top of another. Each pair of layers forms a restricted Boltzmann machine, or RBM. Let's quickly recall what an RBM is. An RBM is a two-layer neural network consisting of a visible layer, representing the input, and a hidden layer that learns to encode features. There are connections between layers, but no connections within a layer itself. In DBNs, each RBM is trained one at a time in a greedy layer-wise fashion. Here's how DBNs actually work. 1. Unsupervised pre-training. Start by training the first RBM using raw input data. Once trained, use its hidden layer as input to the next RBM. This step is repeated for as many layers as needed. This builds up a hierarchy of features, each layer capturing increasingly abstract patterns. 2. Fine-tuning. Once all layers are pre-trained, the whole network is fine-tuned using supervised learning, typically with backpropagation, if the final task is classification or regression. So, why should we care about DBNs? Well, they are excellent for feature extraction, especially from high-dimensional data like images, speech, and text, they can also initialize deep networks effectively, which was a big challenge before modern deep learning frameworks emerged. Plus, DBNs work well when you have limited labeled data since the initial training is unsupervised. That said, DBNs have largely been replaced in practice by models like autoencoders and deep convolutional or transformer-based architectures. Why? Well, training DBNs is computationally intensive. Scalability is limited, especially compared to modern GPU-optimized architectures. Newer models benefit from end-to-end -end differentiability and easier optimization. However, DBNs played a crucial role in the early development of deep learning and are still studied to understand unsupervised learning and generative modeling principles. Historically, DBNs have been applied in handwritten digit recognition, like on the MNIST dataset, speech recognition systems, dimensionality reduction tasks, and even in medical imaging for learning latent patterns. Today, their conceptual foundations live on in models like deep Boltzmann machines and variational autoencoders. To summarize, DBNs are generative models built from stacked RBMs. They learn hierarchical features through unsupervised pre-training. While not commonly used today, they remain foundational in understanding the evolution of deep learning. Thanks for watching. If you're building your understanding of deep learning, keep exploring topics like RBMs, autoencoders, and modern generative models. Let us know what you'd like to learn next in the comments or in the next episode.